Okay. Grab a band if you have one. If not, it's a-okay. We could do it without it. You could just do the movements, okay? So first things first, let's down here. Hands on your legs. Pull the body backwards. Pull it forward. Backwards. Forward. Backwards. Forward. Back again. Forward. Grab that band. If you have a band, a towel, or nothing at all, we're arms front and back, okay? So they're out there. Up, down, up, down. Now this time go all the way down. So I'm gonna pull them instead of inside it and have them on the outside of the band. Up, down. Down, up, down. Now this pivoted. The reason I'm not able to pivot is because I can't get my arms over because the span is too tight to be able to go like this down to the bottom. And come on up, up and over. That's why I wasn't doing it was because it was like, uh, 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 uh. So I did not grab my loose one. I grabbed the one that's too tight. Let me grab the other one real fast. Hold on. This one, for a towel, like I said, worked. Okay, so here we go. First, front, backwards again. Backwards again, front, backwards. Take that up, over, down, up, over, down. See how a towel would be just perfect for this. Over, down, up, pull it out, down. Move those shoulders a little bit. Up, over, down, up, over, down. Take that one down here. Take it to the back, or just reach for your arms. Hold them across if you have to hold on to. Yes, my arms are shaking like crazy. Here we go. I will pull down really hard. It makes my hand can't shake because it's not, and it doesn't have that up in the air tension. All right, here we go. Other side. First and first, we'll grab it onto it. As close as possible. Pull across. Top arm should be shaking again, for me at least. So you pull it down other direction. Really tight tension there. Pull into it. Let it go. Okay. Go to the floor. I like. For me, I need to do a couple pivots because my lower back is hurting. So just kind of pivot it just a little bit. Other way. Step it back. Lower yourself all the way to the ground. Turn the feet backwards. Push up. Cobra. Lower down. Arm out to the side. Either straight out to the side or scarecrow. I'm going to go straight out to the side first, okay? So arm straight out to the side. Come on, flip the side further. Roll your body straight into it. Ah, come on back. Other side. Arm is straight out to the side. And we are rolling into it. Get the head down. Feel that stretch in that shoulder. Ah, so needed. A little back twist there too, huh? Come on back. Put hands in the middle. Push it up. We're going to do what they call a straight jacket, okay? 
It's gonna be arm over to the side and arm over to the side, both sides. Come up and over. Pull the shoulders down. Come in really good. Pull them over as much as you can and lean over them. Would you have arms up front? We're gonna switch them in a minute here, or a second here. Three, two, one, F. Switching arms, pulling them side and down. Line up, those toes back, pushing it back to downward dog. Walk it back, forward fold it, halfway left it, forward fold it, all the way up. Okay, so now if you have a wall, which you can get to, you can barely see mine. Hmm, let's move my husband's hat. There. Okay. So it's going to be a wall dog. So hands on the wall. Legs are out wide back. You're pulling your body down. Feel that stretch in the shoulders. Hold that. Come on. Get it wide. My wall needs to be washed. All right. Shoulder wall, arm is across, out like this, against the wall, twist into it, pull your elbow back. Come on back, other side, arm is straight out, hello, hook. And roll into it. Come on. Other side, remember, pull back. Really pull into it. Feel that shoulder. Come on, get that shoulder against that wall. It's kind of almost the same thing we were doing on the floor, but it's on the wall. And so in some sense, it's a little bit more intense, too. Ah, come on back. Put the hat back where it goes. <laughs> come over here. Get to the floor. Come over here, reach for your heels, pull your body up. Get that stretch there, come on. Come on, pull, 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 pull. Almost the same thing as when you're doing the reverse one, but we're on our back instead. Come on, lower it down, pull them in. Ah, lower back. Now we're going to roll it up onto our knees. Come on up. Let's get the little back bend here. Reach for your heels if you can. Oh. Come on up. All fours, a little twist again. Other way. And legs out, push back first to puppy. So actually it needs to get it first. And up, back to chance pose. <sighs> Come on up. Now, we're going to finish it off with a twist. Leg over leg, elbow on the outside. Twist it. That kitty cat looks so cute right now, sleeping with his head over like that. He's not yelling at me. He's cute when he's not yelling. Ah, other side. 
he's like death now. So he yells like crazy. He's like, stop. Ah. I didn't come back. So there's our just about 10 minute stretch. You could use these, you could use these. You work through it, do what feels good. So like if you felt something that's like, okay, I need a little bit more of that, go back and revisit that part of it, okay? But this one here, you got it checked off and done.